Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to explain the working of a forward converter. The entire working will be explained by considering only two cases and trust me after watching this video, you will be able to analyze the working of a forward converter on your own. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it. Only then you will get the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get into our uh, topic. So this is a circuit diagram of a forward converter. It is basically a DC to DC converter and uh, quite similar to a flyback converter. So it can can increase the voltage or decrease the voltage at the output terminals uh, that is buck operation or boost operation of the converter can be achieved by suitably selecting the turns ratio so uh, based on that we will be uh, increasing the voltage or decreasing the voltage at the secondary terminals so how is it different with respect to a flyback converter it basically has a diode and an inductor in additionally connected in this particular fashion the dot convention is also different in this case uh, one of the major uh, advantages of having such a topology is that uh, once the switches uh, on once the power is uh, supply is given to the primary winding current will be flowing through the load and uh, load will be receiving power instantaneously so uh, in case of uh, the flyback converter it takes some time for the capacitor to charge and then capacitor will only be responsible for supplying the power that is required to the load but in this case it primarily does not depend on capacitor and inductor it does depend but it does not totally depend on only and that like uh, from uh, from the primary winding it gets induced and consequently power will be delivered at the instant when the switch is on so right away you will be getting power at the load that is one of the major differences with respect to a flyback converter converter and that is why forward converter is popularly used in comparison with a flyback converter and flyback converter is generally used for low power applications and that's that's the reason why we go for an extension and that extension of a converter is nothing but a forward converter now let's look into the circuit operation at the first stage let us assume that the switch is on when the switch is on what happens to the circuit the circuit looks in this particular fashion the switch is uh, on and it is shorted at this point so current starts flowing in this particular direction current starts flowing through this path and it returns over here in this particular Phase. So it uh, let us assume the primary winding basically a transformer has coils that is basically the property of an inductor. So let us assume according to uh, the primary winding let us assume this is an inductance and it charges with a polarity of plus and minus and consequently it induces plus and minus at the secondary terminals of the inductance over here. So as a result since plus is connected to the positive terminal uh, that is anode of the diode current uh, it becomes forward biased and acts as a short circuit. Current starts flowing through this path. Inductor slowly starts charging with the polarity plus and minus some amount of current will be flowing through the capacitor capacitor also starts charging with the polarity plus and minus and some amount of current will be flowing through the load and the output voltage polarity with respect to the load is plus and minus so this is how we will be getting instantaneously power is delivered at the load once the switch is on power is directly delivered mutual induction takes place diode is forward biased inductor capacitor starts charging however power is still received at the load irrespective of the charging of the inductor and capacitor when the switch is on that is why it is advantages with respect to flyback converter now let us look at case 2 what happens at case 2 now uh, I mean uh, I wanted to mention this as well it returns through this path this is the path in which the current returns now case 2 when the switch is off what happens this is the circuit diagram switch is open now what happens is that you will be getting uh, the inductor according to the property of inductor it does not allow sudden change in current it reverses its polarity and uh, acts as an energy source according to the property of Lin's law so it reverses its polarity in this particular fashion minus and plus consequently secondary terminals of the circuit uh, of the transformer also will be minus and plus because mutual induction takes place according to the dot convention you will have the same polarity since minus is connected here plus is connected here d1 will be reverse biased isn't it because minus is directly connected to d1 d1 will be reverse biased and plus is directly connected to d2 so d2 will be forward biased let us have this into our consideration now d2 is forward biased and d1 is reversed bias now what happens inductor that had energy plus and minus previously will not have a sudden change in current it should still continue to flow in the same direction according to its property so it will reverse its polarity and continues to supply the current in the same direction and it will act as an energy source now however capacitor already got charged in the previous cycle let us assume it is fully charged and it does not have any space for holding or accumulating more charges ac across its uh, plates so once it is charged it also starts acting as an energy source and current will be flowing through this path through this path and the polarity at the output voltage will be plus and minus in this particular fashion it will return through this path since d2 is forward biased it will act as the return path free willing action takes place and again it flows through this path so inductor discharges capacitor also discharges during this cycle even though uh, the pr primary and secondary uh, like no current flows through the primary winding of the transformer the 
inductor and capacitor will be responsible for ensuring continuous amount of power that is to be flown through the load so we are usually choosing large value of capacitance so that current continuously flows through the load even when the switch is off that is one of the major reasons so if you see plus and minus in the positive half cycle like uh, when the switch is on plus and minus when the switch is off so continuously power is being delivered and the polarity of the output voltage also remains same based on the design with respect to L and C uh, proper design and transformer design supply voltage all of these designs we can achieve a constant output voltage at the load terminals so as a result we will be saying it as a DC to DC converter so based on the turns ratio of the transformer we can say it as buck uh, operation or boost operation where it can increase the voltage uh, uh, for a boost converter or it can decrease the voltage for a buck converter so based on that we will be designing so this is how we will be uh, justifying uh, how the forward converter works but uh, what are the waveform like how does the waveform looks like like uh, we will be assuming uh, t on to be equal to t off and that is why the pulse width is shown with equal distances now uh, output voltage that is desired for a circuit should be constant throughout ideally in this particular fashion but practically we will not be getting that we will be having some amount of ripple it starts increasing decreasing this is because of the charging and discharging of the capacitors across the load terminal that is one of the reasons so by cho choosing the value of ripples suitably the capacitor should be designed and consequently you can further reduce the ripple so you might get a constant DC if you properly design the capacitor so it mainly depends on that so how does the nature of primary current looks like so the primary current flows uh, uh, initially what happens when the switch is on the current starts increasing and when the switch is off instantaneously it acts as open circuit and there will be no current flowing through the primary winding of the transformer and then it uh, consequently becomes equal to zero again when the switch is on so now what happens to the inductor current like uh, what is the nature of the inductor current initially when the switch is on inductor starts charging slowly and the current starts increasing uh, into it and uh, once uh, the switch is off it acts as an energy source and the energy that is stored will be discharged through the load as a result the current decays in this particular fashion again the cycle repeats in the next half ci next cycles as well so this is how we will be explaining and understanding the waveforms of of uh, the forward converter and the entire operation of forward converter is clear I guess in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below you can also reach out to me at electronicsmedia at gmail.com if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you